year after year after year, we have these debates that try to answer the questions of who the best categorizations of each players are in the upcoming NHL entry draft. Who's the best skater? Who's the most physical? Who has the best hands and who has the best shot? All these things are debates that we have amongst the fan bases of other teams and with the media. Well, in the 2020 NHL entry draft, there are two guys who everybody is debating could be the best goal scorers of this draft. One of them is a guy who came out of nowhere and has this season captivated audiences to propelling himself into that discussion. That is the Ottawa 67's Jack Quinn, a guy who we've already made a Why I Want video about and who has taken over the OHL goal scoring wise by storm. The other guy in this conversation is today's topic of the video. What is up viewer out there watching Vlarox back here. Today we are making a Why I Want video on Alexander Holtz, a guy who many, many people have been projecting as a top 2020 draft prospect for years. I remember back when I was in high school, in grade 12, two years ago, I went to the convenience store and I bought myself a Future Watch edition of the Hockey News. This was in 2018, and in this magazine, there was a little section at the very end talking about 2020 draft prospects. Keep in mind, this was two years before 2020 came up. So, in this little section, they talked about a few guys. They talked about Quinton Byfield, they talked about Alexi Lafreniere, and they talked about Jamie Drysdale. The last guy they talked about was Alexander Holtz. And Holtz to me has been a guy who has solidified himself as a top talent for years, and it's for good reason. Now who is Alexander Holtz? Well, I'm glad you asked. Holtz is a 2002 January birthday who is 6 foot 183 pounds as a right winger playing for the Jur Garden in the SHL. Holtz is a guy who made his name by scoring goals. Goals and a lot more goals. Did I mention that he's also a goal scorer? Taking a look at all the mock drafts, HockeyProspect.com has Holtz at 9th overall, Future Considerations has him at number 5, ISS Hockey at number 9, McKean's at number 5, and EliteProspects.com at number 9. So this is a guy that's going to probably be a top 10 pick, but could go as high as number 5, as some of these other outlets are highlighting here. So there may be a sizable concern as to why there are different outlets saying that he's better and worse than other outlets are, but let's go over his body of work and you can decide that for yourself. Holtz played in the SHL this season for the Jur Gardens Hockey Club, where he put up 16 points in 35 games played. Now, he's primarily noted as a goal scorer, and he only had 9 goals. Some may look at that and say, yo, what the heck? That's not that great. He was half a point a game, what the heck is this? Well, hold your horses there, the SHL is indeed a top pro men's league in the world, and it's the number one league in Sweden. Holtz is a guy who had to adjust to this as a 17 year old, and he did a pretty good job if I do say so myself. Just going over the past records, Alexander Holtz had a better points per game in his draft year than Mika Zibanejad did who got 9 points in 26 games back in 2011. Not a bad bet. William Nylander is a guy who had 7 points in 22 games played. His draft year wasn't really that great either. Holtz outscored him as well. So, just a few comparables numbers wise says that Alexander Holtz has the potential to become a pretty good player in the NHL just based off of what he was achieving in the SHL. Now, if we want to take a look at the true value of Alexander Holtz, we have to take a look at two things. First off, let's take a look at his production in other leagues, and second off, let's take a look at how he plays the game. This season, Alexander Holtz also suited up for the Super Elite, the Junior 20 League in Sweden, where he played three games with the Jur Gardens Junior 20 team, and he had nine points. Seven goals, two assists, the guy was an absolute beast playing with guys his own age. 
Even further to that point, he played at the World Juniors, where he had three goals and five total points in seven games played. He was 17 at the time, playing against other guys who were already NHL prospects, close to being NHLers, some, in the case of Barrett Hayden, already NHLers. Last season, when Holtz was 16 turning 17, the guy played in the Junior 20 leagues again, and he was over a point per game with 47 points in 38 games played. He had 30 goals as well, which is absolutely crazy for a guy playing with guys two, three years older than him. We said that he was a goal scorer, and Holtz has been proving over the years that he is indeed a goal scorer. When you watch tape of Alexander Holtz, the first thing that you notice is the fact that Holtz loves having the puck on his stick. He excels when he has it, and his confidence levels are through the roof. Now, confidence may seem like a bad thing at times. Yo, what the heck, he's a cocky guy? No, that's not what I'm trying to say here. Holtz has confidence that allows him to do things at such a straightforward level that it really helps him out in situations where he is trying to get the puck on net or trying to bring the puck into the zone. Holtz is a guy whose skating allows him to enter the zone with ease sometimes. If he needs to sidestep a guy, he'll do that, and he'll enter the zone with flying colors. In the zone, Holtz is a guy who isn't afraid to shoot the puck from anywhere. Sometimes he likes to shoot it from way too far out, where some people would be like, yo, what the heck are you doing? You're so far away. But when the puck ends up in the back of the net, sometimes you take a look at that and you say, what the heck, what a crazy decision that actually paid off. Holtz is a guy who loves to shoot the puck, and he's really gosh darn good at it. He can really quickly snap one forward properly and with accuracy as well. He can shoot the puck when he's standing still, he can shoot the puck when he's on the move, he is a very versatile shooter, and the accuracy of his shot and the power behind it makes him one of the best goal scorers of this entire draft class. The goal production that he had in the SHL this season isn't amazing, but his track record, the way he scores these goals, and how he has been producing in the past says to everybody that this guy has the potential to become an elite finisher at the NHL level. And that's kind of the big thing that a lot of people try to tout when they talk about Alexander Holtz, the fact that his goal scoring ability projects so well to the NHL level because these tools that he has that allow him to score these goals are so translatable to the next step. But it's this somewhat one-dimensional play that's holding him back from being a true number three, number four overall prospect in this crop of players. Some will tout his play in his own zone, his defensive game, which isn't bad, but it could use some work and it could use some refinement. This is an area where a guy like Lucas Raymond completely takes the torch over Holtz because Raymond is a beast in his own zone and he doesn't give up. He's really good defensively. Combined with the playmaking skill that Raymond has and the ability that he has to make others around him better, that's usually the number one catalyst as the people saying that Raymond is a better prospect than Holtz. Holtz, however, does have that goal scoring edge over Raymond and it's that goal scoring edge that he's going to make his money from. You're not going to draft Holtz to be a number one player on the team, to be a guy to play at both ends of the ice, to play in all situations. When a team drafts Alexander Holtz, what they're getting is a potential 40-45 goal scorer. A guy who could play on the top line with an elite center and put up goals like crazy. A guy who has elite Rocket Richard winning potential one day because his finishing ability is so, so strong. Now, it's up to you whether or not you want a player like this at five or at 10. But with this being said, the fact that a player like Alexander Holtz does exist where his potential is so high, but he can probably go all the way down there at number 7, 8, or 9 is crazy. It kind of shows off how absurd this draft class is where a guy who is as talented as Holtz is slipping. And it's not to a fault of Holtz, it's mostly just because the other guys have been propelling themselves forward. Marco Rossi came out of nowhere with 110 points or whatever. Jack Quinn came out of nowhere with 50-something goals challenging Holtz for that number one goal scorer spot. 
And to that argument though, I just wanted to say one more thing. If Alexander Holtz was playing in the OHL, there would be no doubt in my mind that he probably would have either the same amount of goals as Jack Quinn or maybe even more. Because Holtz has exhibited time in and time out that against U20 competition, the guy can't be stopped and it's not even close. However, playing against men is a different beast and Holtz has proved himself as a pretty transitionable player who is able to play with men. So much to the point that his numbers were better than Zabanajad's and Nylander's when they were 17 turning 18. So with this information, talk to me in the comments below. What do you think of Alexander Holtz? Where do you think he should be drafted in the draft? What do you see his ceiling as? And do you think he's a better goal scorer than Jack Quinn? I hope you enjoyed this video, such as that, Trolls 99, and bye.